Several months ago on the show, we had several young entrepreneurs on the show. They run Hire the World. It is an online site uh, designed for outsourcing. And we had a fascinating conversation. I love the concept of outsourcing. Uh, welcoming back now Doug Beach, one of, one, of the, one of the twins who, along with Arash Farouz, did I say his name right? Yeah, that's perfect. Have developed, have developed Hire the World. Uh, thanks for coming back on the show. Doug? Hey, thanks for having me, Steve. I appreciate it. Now, a couple months ago when we uh, actually, it was maybe eight months ago, nine months ago, you guys were very much in startup phase. You had, uh, you were offering uh, to the to the internet community at large outsourcing. You were finding everything from accountants to graphic designers to writers to photographers. Uh, any any uh, knowledge work that needed to be done, you were basically brokering that, putting the relationship together between the people who had the work and the people in the skilled labor that wanted to do the work. And uh, I think it's a tremendous space. We had an engaging conversation, I think. And it's now nine months later. So what's happening? Yeah, so <laughs> you're right. It's still it's a really great space, Steve. Um, since we've talked, it, it's funny. We, we were offering 541 different skill categories and the, and the kinds of work that was coming across our desk. You just couldn't even imagine. Uh, it, it was actually really great information to see how many different entrepreneurs were doing different kind of marketing tactics or... Um, even individuals that are outsourcing medical writing was something that came across our, our desk. Um, but in the last nine months, uh, as we were going through the 541 categories, we were offering all these services, but each service, um, I, I guess we talked a bit about this before, it was really uh, difficult for us on a limited marketing budget to explain exactly what it is that we do. We didn't, you know, we can explain that we are an outsourcing company and you can pretty much do anything. But when we would say that to people, people would be like, well, what are some examples? And so you'd be trying to hit 541 different topics, hoping that the customer would say, hey, yeah, 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 I really need that. Yeah. Um, and so what's happened in the last nine months is that we took our most profitable segments, um, which happened to be graphic design, which is what we uh, started with. And we've actually narrowed and focused the business through, um, solely on graphic design. Uh, as of two months ago, we've just gone through a site redesign. And uh, last month was our first month where, you know, we still had some jobs withering on the vine, we like to say. So there's still people getting bookkeeping and programming done in the background on our site, but we're not offering any new jobs. Mm -hmm. um, we had our most profitable month last month. And uh, I think just for the sole reason of focus, um, I, I know this is a pretty big rant, but I, we talked about it before earlier too, is that now my mom can actually go and explain to her friends what it is that we do on the internet where before she was like i don't know it's like around the world and they do all this stuff so that so you simplified things so when you started out i i can just imagine what what was going on you were excited about every new category that you could provide services in because you saw the potential of every one of those 500 plus categories and it was so easy to you thought growth would probably come through adding more categories and just getting bigger and bigger and bigger offering all of these online services which is perfectly legitimate but it's so difficult to capture mind share when you're looking at that many when you're spreading yourself that thin so instead of growing outward you guys just decided to completely narrow your focus and only concentrate on graphic design and that's a that's a that's a pretty bold step it must have been, it must have caused you a, a fair bit of con interesting conversations between the three of you as you moved ahead oh i tell you there we spend a lot of time this is our uh, we call this our board game room because we play a lot of board games in here but it's also where we make all our decisions and uh we're talking about a couple months of debate, Steve, because we're making money in those other categories. But at the same time, like you see the revenue coming in, but then you also see, you know, some of our uh, staff on customer service calls where they're trying to explain why there's a dispute because there's this medical writing program that they're trying to get done. And, and we just couldn't provide the service. Like we had so many unique problems coming in. And because we were so broad, we couldn't really make like specialized solutions that really spoke to our customers and made it really easy for them in so many different categories. It was just tough. It was tough times. So really the biggest benefit so far is being able to focus our marketing dollars and just making sure that our customers, when you know, when you hear that you need something that's risk-free, safe, um, and an innovative, fun way to get quality graphic design, now we can start getting our customers to think, oh yeah, hire the world. Like they, their solution is just, it's way better than the traditional way of getting graphic design services. So now, so now you guys are focusing a, a lot more on, uh, obviously on the graphics market, but you've got a unique way of approaching that as well. You've got the ability to create contests and to do, and to do some other things to create, uh, to create a lot of energy around the design. 
Yeah, absolutely. So um, a lot of people uh, compare us instantly. We have some, we have some good competitors in the space and crowdsourcing. You know, it's a, it's a great business. Yes. Um, but where we really differentiate ourselves is we're trying to build a place where graphic designers can make a career. So uh, in a contest, right, you're really competing against other graphic designers. And uh, we like to th we like to take a, a look at it like it's a lead gen because a lot of our, our graphic designers are from all around the world and they traditionally couldn't access North American dollars to but even though they were just as talented yeah um, so we have lots of customers that come in and they start a contest uh, maybe it's just for a logo or a website and then they really you know they get dozens of designers they see from like Japan or Toronto or Singapore and. They get to look at all their work before they decide what they want to pay for. But usually, when they get a graphic designer that like really speaks to them and speaks to their target market, they want to keep working with them. Mm -hmm. And so we have online tools that allow you to you know hire, manage, and pay people all over the world. So and graphic design it makes our tools way better because you can imagine. So they when graphic designers work not on a contest but on an hourly basis, they sign into this uh, our software and it takes screenshots randomly and and uh, every five to ten minutes just so that they know that every hour they work, they get paid for, right? Okay. Well, you can imagine, if you're taking screenshots of a programmer taking code in PHP, it doesn't really say much for our client base. Our client's like, well, I, I saw that he's coding, but I really don't know what he's doing. But in graphic design, you can see visual, the, you know exactly what they're doing. You see the evolution of it. So how does a typical contest work? Yeah, it's, it's really simple, it's three steps. So basically, you come to our site, and you say you, you want whatever kind of project you have. So if it's like a logo, a t-shirt design, a website, you basically, you fill out a five minute brief. You tell us what you, your project is, what your needs are, and how much you're willing to pay. Uh, it starts at $265, which is very inexpensive if you look at the, if you look at the field of what it normally costs. Um, you're talking 20% of the normal cost for even just going into a traditional design agency. Yeah. Um, and then we broadcast that to thousands of designers all over the world and uh, they go and look at the project, they see if they're interested in it, they think, hey, do I have a vision for this person? They create up some initial uh, images and they send them uh, into Hire the World and so you get a few results in days and by the end of a contest, the average contest gets over 109 designs uh, for you to choose from. And uh, the best thing is it's completely risk-free. Uh, we guarantee that you're going to get a design that you love, that meets your needs, that you're going to be able to use, or else you can get your money back. So it's, it's, that's, that, and that's something that traditional graphic designers do not offer. That's the challenge when you're dealing with just a single designer. Now, while you gain the benefit of communicating face-to-face -face and all of those sorts of things, there's still, it's still sometimes very difficult, especially for business people to communicate concepts to graphics people. That's always, that's always a challenge. So yeah. just you know, throwing an awful lot of different designs at the wall is a, is a great way of approaching it because you're getting some really creative and unique approaches. Yeah, absolutely, Steve. We like to say around here, there's a lot of our clients that really don't know what they want, but they'll know when they see it. And that's the beauty about our site is that you get to see hundreds of designs and then you're like, that's the one, that's the one, and then you pay for it. Which, which, which of, the des of the contests that you've had, say, on logo design, what's your favorite ones that you've had so far? Oh, I know my favorite for sure. It's called Infinite Motorcycles, and uh -huh. uh, it's this really cool guy. And do you know what? It got, it got one of the least amount of designs. It was a really interesting contest. It was, it was I think it was two hundred thirty-five dollars, so it was the minimum amount for a logo. Yeah. And this person was creating infinite motorcycle training. So he was doing like, uh, if you want to learn how to ro ride a motorbike, you go to his company. Okay. And so there's this really cool one, and I'll I'll bring it up, or I guess you can post it, and. Uh, and there's this really cool motorcyclist, and he's on tires that make an infinite symbol. And oh. the infinite symbol's just revving up, and it's getting really, really, uh, you can just tell it's ready to rock. And the contest only got 39 entries because when this talented designer from the Philippines put it up, the other designers on the comment feed just said, no, that's the winning design. We can't design better than that. And oh. the employer was like, yeah, that's the design. Yeah, there's no way. So the designers um, can see the other designers work. Uh, yeah, yeah. As and it's coming along, so they can decide. If... You can make it a blind contest, or you can make it so that it's an interactive, collaborative contest. But in that one, it was collaborative. Okay. Now, what about high profile? Have you had some high profile customers? Yeah, we've had some really great ones. Well, you know what? We 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 did do a contest. The one that we got the most like audience for was with the Winnipeg Jets. Yeah. So the Winnipeg Jets, of course, already paid a fortune uh, to a design company, like probably hundreds of thousands of dollars. So they already had their logo. Um, but we thought their fan base would really like to participate. And so we went ahead and ran a contest for them anyways. And the local news picked it up. And uh, we had, you know, fans and fans' children pumping up designs. I think we got like 450 designs um, from people all over Manitoba. And, of course, the, the newspapers picked it up. The local TV stations picked it up. 
Um, we've done we've done contests for uh, a local blueberry, the, the Aquilini Blueberry uh, Company here. Uh, that's a local, you know, they own the Canucks. Uh, so they did a they did a contest. Um, we've done lots of really cool contests. The, the majority of them are people that are just starting new businesses, like massage therapists or dog walking schools. Or um, we've had some really great website contests. I know Cap Therm, who got multi millions of dollars in funding for their product. Um, they built their initial website on us, and it turned out beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, have you ever heard of the company uh, a Swarm Jam? Yes. Yeah, they're like a Groupon style site. They yep. had a really great business model where they partnered with newspapers and got all their advertising for free, and then had like a some kind of deal that if they hit a certain revenue number, they would be bought out. It was it was a beautiful plan. Um, they got a site redesigned uh, for Swarm Jam, actually done on Higher the World as well, a couple of years ago. Okay. So and now it's not just logos though. You also do websites. You do book art, uh, business card design, print design. So there's a so there's a even though you've focused on graphics, there's a pretty broad spectrum of graphics work that's available. Yeah, absolutely. We do clothing. Like uh, right now, we're 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 running some promo contests to get some more book covers. We're actually giving away two free book cover uh, contests to self-publishing authors. Uh, just trying to get the word out there that hey, listen, there's a better way that you don't have to go and get the free make your own book cover that looks like everybody else's and you don't have to pay the expensive way either. Um, and clothing design is a big one as well, uh, t-shirt design. And what about what about motion graphics? Um, we don't do very many motion graphics. I know that we do banner ads, which mm -hmm. could potentially you could get those gifts to like, you know, they could be multiple images. Simple animation People there, like yeah. making them for Google. So you can get those designed. Um, but like animated at graphics, we don't do. Okay. So it's, it's, all, it's all 2D. Well, come on guys, grow, grow into some new markets for goodness sake. Hey. <laughs> We just narrowed down. Like, <laughs> we don't need this pressure. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, listen, Doug, I, I appreciate I appreciate the update. We'll uh, we'll uh, be posting uh, links to and I'll post links to the uh, to the logos that you liked as well, so that people can get an idea for that. I wish you and your brother well and uh, and your partner, and uh, we'll talk. We'll have an update in six more months. Maybe you'll be doing something completely different then as well. Yeah, I know that sounds great, Stephen. Thanks for having us again. Yeah, it's uh, always great talking to you. My pleasure, Doug Beach from HireTheWorld.com.